Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Leo star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to me to make uh, it falls to you, excuse me, to make sense of them and to align and to align them with your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, if you find these reports helpful. And you want to know even more about Leo star sign for the month, specifically career and relationship. You can uh, purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 from my website. And there in this specific extended video, we are to make a, a two more spreads, one for career specifically and one for relationship. So that being said, this is going to be a five card general tarot spread. The first card represents the uh, topic for your month. Leos and we do have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups points that this month is going to be a month of preparation before you take on a specific change that it is happening which is looming in your life. Um, the change is not going to happen during the month of um, during the month of uh, no, no, of November is going to happen uh, probably December, January, maybe even February. But now the process of preparing for that specific change needs to take place, which will involve you reassessing your positions of where you are standing right now. That could lead to realization, you know, that you can uh, be on a better job, for example, or you can uh, have better relationship if you adopt. Um, <clears throat> different positions uh, in it uh, as well this uh, month is going to ask you to have self-reflection in a sense of like self-examination self-assessment uh, as well to uh, reassess your skills you know your behavior um, either and uh, in general uh, what you what you receive from life for according to what you give in it uh, and uh, what the advice here with the page of uh, with the page of cups is that you should rather be more prone toward the bigger picture rather than to the minor details. So don't, uh, as one being meticulous, it's a good thing. Uh, this is something that you should not try to do throughout this particular month, you know. But focus on the specific goal. Think of where you need change in your life. And most likely, this is going to be the field, the field that you need to start pre preparing for the change to happen. Uh, the Page of Cups are very, uh, how can I place it, a, a, a very creative card. Uh, but this creativity differs from the... Um, from the advanced creativity. When we talk about the creativity of the Page of Cups, it means that this is the creativity of uh, of our emotional states, if that makes any sense. So, in other words, it's about expressing your emotions creatively, not your skills and your knowledge, but your emotions creatively. For example, you want to enthrall a suitor, well, try something different, something that is going to surprise them, you know, something that is going to make them wow on... Uh, on what you are to do, etc, etc. And one more thing about the topic of the month, you may feel very uh, down on your emotional state should you not find someone to be emotionally connected at. Therefore, if you are single, uh, it will be very advisable for you to spend as much time as possible with a, a faithful companions, friends and family, etc, etc. Something that you do have emotional connection with. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the, um, the best possible course of actions or the intentions that you should, uh, that you should adopt. And here we have a, a better understanding about the change. Eight of Cups speaks that uh, you need to recognize which field of your life 
it's it has a noxious air it has a no-go situation it basically faces a wall it's a dead it's a dead end road and it is exactly in that field where the change is going to be incorporated and you have to start preparing it uh, <clears throat> for that but you're focusing on the end goal here and the end goal is what you want from the change itself therefore the eight of cups asks you to resign for the current situation not focus yourself on the minor details as i said just be resigned about it and uh, have the clamorous belief that a, a better perspective is emerging soon and as such is emerging so you should uh, th this card involves as a um, intentions is not to have regret envy nor uh, being despondent that things aren't turning out the way that you know that you want and that you are expecting that you think you deserve because uh, all this um, all this payoff of uh, what you need what you require and and in generally what you what you think you have you need to have you need to be rewarded with uh, is going to come on is going to come up with a different perspective but this different pers perspective yet is looming on the horizon you can't do much for it right now uh, apart from as i said preparing yourself for when it comes to capitalize on it entirely here so that being said, Eight of Cups asks you not to argue for a, 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 a futile uh, wrangles here. Don't try to save things at all, at all cost. You know, especially if we're talking about relationship, do not stay into one relationship just for the sake of being it, being in it. In case you know your partner doesn't make you happy, abuse you in any way, etc., etc. It is just you know have the clamorous belief that as soon as you make certain detachments from the noxious environment in whatever field this environment is, there will be a new perspective there emerging for you very very soon. The challenges that you have to overcome here. This is going to be the two of pentacles and th this is the sense of um, being able to say the difference is between minor and major change because the two of pentacles here plays the role of the minor ordinary common changes that one experience um, every day and now and uh, this will be the challenge to say the difference in between the major, the major change that it is looming and the small changes which are happening here and there and it requires from you to fit them in your um in your schedule uh in your to-go list and in general you know into your code of conduct uh very important when we do have this card is that you abandon any kind of plans that you do have but kind of like face the challenges one step at the time <clears throat> or face the undertakings that you are to have throughout throughout the month one step at the time uh, this is this is important because as i said these small changes are going to also play a role as surprises they are manifest themselves as surprises and you have to be ready to be able to um to be agile you know with your adaptations because they will surprise uh, they will surprise the plan that you have created you know and um, this plan will become outdated as soon as these minor um, differences starts to take place the next card that we do have this is going to be the resources that you can that you can utilize in this month we do have these six of cups so the resources are um are, are attached to the creative expression that i talked about and these resources are asking you here to uh be creative and be devoted to those things which are giving you pleasure so uh this card points that you will have the resource of the right to choose which to involve yourself in and this card advise you to choose to involve yourself in as much as you can those kind of activities which are making you feel glee and delight six of cups is a very peculiar card uh, from one point it may it, it may speaks that you can use your children as a resource this is just the literal the literal sense of the card and especially if you're going through a divorce um, even though that may not seem very righteous you know and, and kind of like a, a very honorable you can you can use your children as a leverage 
to basically extract as much as you can from the divorce. I'm just saying it because this is a general reading and, you know, I, I feel myself obliged to say um, as much as uh, differentials as possible for every card. But in general, the, the, six of, uh, the Six of Cups is a card marking a, a time in which whatever you do is going to create pleasure um, and delight within you and this is a resource that you can utilize in that sense you are you have to kind of like you know focus more upon those things which are giving you delight than the things which are appearing as a chores or you know or making you feel despondent or poignant experiences what they present etc etc and one more thing uh, well that is very superficial here but six of cups at some time at some point may uh, express the delight of having sex and uh, as a resource this card represents the uh, creation of the emotions through the material aspect of uh, of one's relationship therefore this card points to that whomever you make sex with they will start developing emotions for you and that is a resource that you can as well capitalize on um, the, the last card here is pointing to the final outcome for you Leo and this will be the Hermit so the Hermit is a card pointing that you are to find the light that shines for you for the tunnel so whatever you are waiting here to start to, to, to take place as a change and to improve your circumstances for the better it is what happens as a result of all that so you are to find the light uh, at the end of your tunnel the hermit card is always about one uh, realizing what um, what is uh, what is the not, not the calling uh, but it is very difficult to explain it it is more like uh, I let's say that you are trying to figure out what career path you should take well appearance of the hermit points that you are going to take the career path which is meant for you to take this isn't a calling all right it's something different it's more like finding your your pathway in one of the fields of your life if this symbolizes a relationship this card points to a long lasting relationship here someone that can truly understand you someone who can answer the emotions that you do have toward that person as well with same amount of magnitude and the same amount of candor as well and uh, this card at the end also points that you are to be much more aware of what you feel toward the people and toward toward your situations therefore it seems that you are going to have a lot of clearance upon your thought situations and people which appear to be very vague and surreptitious to you will be vague and surreptitious no longer at the end of the month of November and that will make you even more solid regarding the change which is yet to happen in the month of either December January or maybe February so that being said, Leos, this was your monthly tarot reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Leo star sign and it was not your personal reading, guys. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. If you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about Leo's development throughout the month, specifically career and relationship, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 from my website again, in which extended monthly tarot reading I'm doing two spreads, one for career and one for relationship, specifically for Leo star sign. So that being said, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.